Okay, <clears throat> so I thought I would talk a wee bit about um, something that's been popping up in the comments or people talking about. Um, or we've been discussing this um, via e emails and so on. Is the videos I did talking about the realization, let's say, realization of non duality in the senses or the non separation in the senses? And there are a, a, a whole bunch of people who have um, realized with clarity the, the fictional nature of the mind based identity. Or they've, they've done a good bit of inquiry and had a transformative recognition. Well, they've recognised an aspect of reality of themselves that isn't difficult to uh, describe. Yeah, sorry, is difficult to describe. Is undefinable in words. You could attempt to describe it, but in experience, is obvious. And w when this inquiring into the senses. I think it's necessary to have had that fundamental recognition and to have matured that to a degree in that it's become undoubtable, it's become obvious and it's become a, a place of refuge where you can enjoy resting in the, that experience, let's say, the experience of non let's just say seeking, um, of not trying to attain an experience or a, a state, um, or not striving to attain an insight or to gain something from the position of the separate individual. Um, I think it's necessary to, I would describe it like you know, we do a lot of of seeking, of course, and inquiry, and you know, it gets frustrating, and 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 so on. And f when approached from that position of personal um, gain of, of uh, adding something to the the separate identity, or or, or trying hard to get rid of that. There's a there's an urgency. There's a, a discomfort in that. There's a a desperation in that um, that can be felt. I don't have something. I'm trying to get this awakening, or or, or whatever. When this becomes clear, that we don't we, we are it already. You are it already. It's here. It's always been here. It's always been known in a way, or it's always been knowing in a way, then it can become much lighter and we can not resist or battle with thoughts by labelling that as real or not real, not um, fight with the ego. We can let, we can release and expand, uh, dilate and dissolve into the fundamental nature of reality. And that's what I would talk about is the initial recognition, the initial shift. Um, I briefly describe my own experience with it. How I would describe it now is that, you know, way back, way back early, got into Buddhism, tried to get rid of thoughts, tried not to think, tried to look forward to attaining something, it didn't work. 
became really interested in experiencing the senses. It be, became really interested in, in casually and in, in relaxed and uh, non-urgent, enjoyable, present way. Became interested in reality and the mind and this experience and what I am. And then this opened up, whatever this recognition is, opened up. Um, and th then I would say it became more of something like a hobby, something like a, a really enjoy engaging in because it's always here, it's always peaceful, it's always, always obvious, it's always complete. In that is the best place I would say to engage the inquiries into the what we're talking about with the non-dual recognition in the in the senses. If we're looking for something, if we're trying to see something that's different from what we're experiencing as a, a more correct experience, then we're gonna keep missing it. It's the the qualities of that initial awakening, that initial recognition, in that that all the way, in that is is how we're approaching that and you can't really call that an approach because it's not it's not like we are it's not linear so I would just describe a basic model of this that, but don't hold this lightly but the initial awakening is um, I would just describe my own experience with it briefly as seeing that Looking for what I am, what this is, and it, at first it's very focused on the mind and thought, because that is the thing that's running this sense of identity. And when it's clearly seen, clearly seen that that, that sense of me as the separate thinker, me as the one struggling with thought, co-arises with the, the thought as a suggestion in the content and the context of the thought. That sense of me co-arises with each objective thought and then subsides. And when it's not there, then there's this present, clear awakeness. And then the doubt co-arises with the sense of self, saying this can't be it, is this it? When that's clearly seen, then the, the, the thinker the belief in the thinker fades away with the thinker, with the thought. And then there's a chance to ex experience uh, this present alive awakeness that is inherent, infinite and obvious. Um, maturing in that, se that, that certainty without being distracted with a... Uh, the belief in the reality of thoughts and doubt I think is necessary for this otherwise we're just going to get carried away with the mind um, this initial recognition almost allows the, the fundamental overt sense of self as defined by the mind is seen through but it, it almost opens up a different more subtle layer of thought that's not so obvious, that's not so conceptual, um, that's not uh, so narrative based. And unless that initial illusion has been dispelled, it, it's very difficult to access that, that deeper layer of thought. I would say the initial awakening is very much in the mind space, in the thought space. Um, some traditions talk about the mind, the thoughts being, a, thinking being a, another sense. Um, so like the sixth sense. After that, 
their sensory experience becomes much more obvious because they're not habitually ignoring it by following the the, uh, the patterns, the, the content of the objective thought. This, whatever this is, immediately, the immediacy of this sensory experience becomes much more vivid, much more interesting and mysterious. Um, then we can really start to look at, start to experience the senses fully. And I've said many times, it's, it, we're not looking for something that's not here. All, all we need to do is see clearly fr from no position what's here. What what is what is this? What is this? That's never answered, but what's making it look like an immediate physical reality? I am a separate thing here, separate from this world out there, is a structure of thought. Um an assumption. a, a, a thought based thought constructed assumption and it really seems real you know it's fairly easy to see through the the non-reality of the the mind as it talks about past and future and me and so on because of a lot a lot of it is completely ridiculous and <laughs> doesn't really make any uh, logical sense um But it's a lot more subtle when this augmentation of thought suggests that I'm looking, I'm in here and I'm looking out at the world from in here. I'm separate in here and the world's out there. Uh, that really seems like what's going on. Um, but that's a, that's a filter, that's a filter, that's a thought that's being augmented onto the experience. To make it look like I am a separate identity here, separate from the world out there. It might sound ridiculous to suggest that in the senses there actually is no inherent separation anywhere. There's no... Um, separate character in here looking out at the world moving through a world that it, I'm in that's separate from me that might sound ridiculous but if you really look at what's happening if you really immediately look at what this is what's appearing the nature of this appearance it can very easily become obvious but it's so hard for me to emphasize and and describe to you how obvious this is and how normal this is because the uh or how pragmatic and simple this is because the the nature of the recognition can come with some uh, um It's profound, it's incredibly profound, but that's the inherent profound quality of existence itself. It's nothing to do with realising something that's more profound than this in the future. It's very, very simple. It's the mind that keeps moving away from what's here to try and explain it, to try and fall back into a position that can relate to it and describe it to it. A character here makes sense to a character here. If we're still caught up in the illusion of thought, it's going to be very difficult to approach this from a place of emptiness, a place of simplicity.
the most incredible part of this this awakening recognition for myself was the, the recognition of the non-dual nature of the senses because it made all of this more real it made all of this more obvious because that that recognition and the that awakening in the in the space of the mind is an incredible transformation but there maintains a, an unreal vaguely conceptual quality undertone to it until you see it in immediate reality and of course you're not seeing it but it becomes clear to itself in immediate reality and at that point it's 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 more real <laughs> because once you see it i'm gonna say once you see it but limits of language once it's seen it's all it's, this is always here you you can't not see it you can't unsee it it's obvious indefinitely because the that illusion has been broken so then this experience then becomes the most enjoyable infinitely ongoing phenomenon that you can engage all the time and there goes boredom there goes apathy um, there goes that dull deadness of mind identification there goes struggle because you've now found the, the greatest hobby that you can do constantly forever and it never gets boring um, infinitely fascinating Your reality infinitely fascinated with itself without an end and it just keeps getting more and more incredible more and more deep and I'm making it sound fantastic but I'm describing the inherent, inherent fantastic profound nature of, of life I'm not talking about this fantastic recognition in the future that it's going to happen to you and then everything's great because it's not like that. It's here already and it's it's you already without the need for a you because that wouldn't make sense. Once we can exist in a free, empty way as that aliveness as that awakeness as that awareness consciousness whatever you want to call it it doesn't matter people call it the sense of i am or consciousness or once that initial recognition has dispelled the illusion of the the mind made self and that certainty of being is obvious it's in that that we then recognize the qualities of this realization in the, the senses and it comes about in a really infinitely interesting way so i always talk about the uh people describe it in different ways I, all i can really do is describe my own experience with it and i'm describing an experience of this recognition not I can't describe what's realised because that's beyond description but I realised that there was this assumption that I was carrying about with me that I'm in here looking out at the world that somehow I'm looking through a window I see people's faces and it stops here I see people's eyes as an object, as a person and it stops there so I assume this experience in this looking something about this stops here and then I'm looking out from here, I'm in here, onto the world out there. I noticed that that barrier doesn't exist. <laughs> it never existed and it was a, a wild assumption that I just never looked at. And this looking doesn't start and stop anywhere. So it's like this window fell out and all of this became closer, all of this became more clear that this is just completely hollow that there's no start and stop point to this looking there's no starting here, I'm in here looking starts here there's space in between and then there's an objective world out there the object starts and stops there there's space here and I'm in here looking at it from this point in the looking none of that is 
obviously none of that is there. And it's wild that the, that assumption that I was looking out a window onto the world was was even there, just due to habit. But when that became, when the obstruction, the assumption became clear, then suddenly the everything is inside, I would describe it as, the experience of this outside world became inside, all inside, with no outside. So inside and outside stopped making sense, but it brought everything inside, it brought everything closer, it unified everything into what I had already realised in, let's say, the sense of the mind. It made it immediate, it made it real. And then you could just get lost in the mystery of this infinite looking, this hollow, empty, infinite looking that seems to be full of apparent form. But the, the, the form isn't form in the way that the mind puts it together. It's limitless, infinite, formless appearing as, or made to look as uh, like a, a world of things through this augmentation of the mind, which continues simultaneously. Um, and you can you can defocus that, and then it just becomes completely formless, or you can focus it, and it, it comes back together. That sounds mental, but. Uh, uh, don't try and think about it. Um, and all it took was seeing, turning this perception back in on the subject that is, I was assumed to be looking out from here. So rather than looking out at the world to try and find an experience for the me that's assumed to be in here, this point of reference, this subject, you, you can't do that though, that's a paradoxical thing. You can't turn the attention round onto the subject and look back the way. But somehow <laughs> that manages to happen <laughs> in a really strange way. When you look back at the subject, you realise nothing's there and then it just becomes infinite, it becomes completely hollow. That's the way I could describe it in the, in the visual. And with that, it was then noticed in all the other senses. Um, that they have no form, they have no shape, they have no size, other than a mind augmentation that suggests that uh, for the purposes of relative um, engaging with a rel relative world. In essence, it's, in, it's formlessness appearing as form. Um, Everything becomes very close. Every, everything becomes unified. Um, clearly and direct experience. The sounds... almost merge together into one unified sense. The appearance, the visual, merges together into one unified, undefinable sense. The physical senses, the breathing, all merges together into this one unified, I'm not going to say singularity, because it's not, it's almost scattered about in a, in a non-spatial way, but um, and bringing the, what was clearly recognised in the initial awakening, let's say, into the immediate just by bringing the attention fully into the experience of looking, the experience of hearing, and then, again, looking for the separate point and experience that is hearing from, is seeing from. Um, so that's all going to sound mental, probably, but <laughs> how to do that? Um, I, I don't know if I can even describe that. But 
I would say cultivate that maturity. Well, it's not really something. Yeah, I suppose it is something you can you can cultivate immediately of the what's been realised. You, you you something becomes clear in experience, whatever you want to call that after that initial recognition, and then you have access to that. Let's say you can you can embody that in a non-grasping way, and then just look. Does it seem like I'm looking out onto a world? Does it seem like I'm in here, hearing a world of separate things over there, out there, behind me? What's making it look like that? Look for the augmentation of thought that, that is being plastered on top of the experience. Um, in a way that what you're hearing is that... Um, thought construction, partially. What you're seeing is that thought construction, distance, shape, form, separateness. None of those actually experience uh, exist in the experience when you look. Just look for what's making it seem separate. And I would say look, look, look in the direction <laughs> It's not really a direction, but look in the direction of the subject. Look back at the subject. Where does this looking start? Where does the awareness start and the what's being looked at begin? Where does the sound start and the me aware of it begin? You can look at an object and then in a linear way follow the empty space back from the object towards what seems like you in here, what feels like you in here and see is there is there a distance there, is there a separation there in experience and it, it, if you start to notice something you be tempted to notice it and try and figure it out, don't try and figure it out just let the experience overtake you, it can't be figured out, it's true paradox um, it might seem like that object over there is aware of itself here <laughs> as the object that's over there. It might seem like the space between you and the object is collapsing, so it's appearing here and there at the same time. Um, it might seem like the, the forms are losing their definition or merging together. These are just side effects. Um, but if that happens, don't bounce, bounce back into a, a referential point and try and relate to it and figure it out. Just keep letting go. The experience is complete. The experience is going to show you that you're not here. <laughs> as strange as that sounds. As you see clearly that there is nothing here. There is no character in here. And then the thoughts don't have a place to land anymore. That, that half in, half out experience loses its power because the thoughts don't have a place to land. The, the subject starts to fade away. Um, But what, what you realised in the initial awakening, it's that all the way. But don't try and recall and recreate the experience. Embody that now. And that manifests as all of this. And just let all of this overtake the one that's trying to figure it out. And get very interested in... in the appearance, the sounds, in a way that is non-grasping, in a way that is engaging and enjoyable and beautiful and you could do it just for the sake of doing it, not for the sake of attaining a, a deeper level of awakening.
just for the sake of enjoyment. Just because this, as it is, is already perfect. And as a, I'll finish with this, as a, as a caution, this, this can bring up some uh, visceral, emotional, physical reactions. But it's all okay. You, you don't try and fix it, don't try and figure it out. Just notice the non-dual nature of these emotions as they come up. In what you've already realised. Anyway, that'll do for now. And I'll talk to you next time.